KSBY's Claudia Busio joins us live now with more on firefighting efforts to contain that blaze. Claudia. Good evening, we're live in Gaviota. Now we're seeing a much clearer sky today, so this is really helping firefighters. And if you can listen in a little bit, there's just a lot of aircrafts that are coming in to help with these efforts. They're basically going to the Pacific Ocean, loading up and then trying to pour the water down several of these hotspots that still remain in this area. Now that winds are calming down, efforts to control the Aliso fire are coming from the skies. First couple days, those winds were blowing pretty hard down Canyon, and that was creating a problem as that fire was pushed down that Canyon at a rapid rate, and it was able to keep spotting up to a quarter mile ahead of itself. About 1,300 personnel are working late nights, early mornings, everything it takes to contain this wildfire, which includes understanding the terrain. Um, every Canyon along the Gaviota coast is a little different. One canyon it could be the winds could be calm. The next one the winds can be howling down canyon. So everyone's a little different. So that's the problem we have here is the fire starts to move laterally both to the west and to the east. But as it moves to the east, it hits the Sherpa fire that burned about seven years ago. Firefighters are driving up and down Highway 101 to hold down those hot spots. We're really trying to hit it hard from the air and, and we're coordinating that air effort with the ground crews that are currently on scene. But the game changer are aircrafts. Everything from the large aircraft, which is the DC-10, we have a pair of those working. We have some smaller uh, British Aerospace 146s. Those are the smaller with the two little engines on each side. And we have some Ericsson MD-7s, which have the two little uh, engines on the back that are bright orange and green. You see those as well. And they all re are re uh, refilling their retardant at the Santa Maria Airport. Choppers are fueling up at the Gaviota Coast, making their way to carefully mapped areas. These are the rotor wing aircraft. We have some heavy helicopters, a Chinook helicopter can drop a thousand gallons, and we have other uh, helicopters that can drop, you know, smaller buckets full of water and pinpoint accuracy. And those are filling up off the Pacific and dropping and dousing on a lot of those hot spots in those deep seated canyons. So there's definitely a lot of action. We try to time it and it seems like it takes about three minutes for these aircrafts to go back to the ocean and then drop some of this water. Now, right behind me, you can see that there's a line of fire retardant. Also a bulldozer making its way up. These are all the efforts and it just shows a combination of air and efforts on the ground. We're live in Gaviota, Claudia Busio, KSBY News. All right, Claudia, thank you. We also have some new evacuation orders in place for the area west of Arroyo Hondo to the intersection of Highway 101 and Highway 1. Previous orders are still in place for Arroyo Hondo Canyon, Refugio Canyon, and the area between El Capitan Beach State Park and West Camino Cielo. The total area under the evacuation order can be seen in the red box. Residents in the area need to leave immediately. The area in the yellow boxes are under evacuation warnings. That includes properties in the Hollister Ranch area and the area east of El Capitan Beach State Park, west of Dos Pueblos Canyon Road, and south of West Camino Cielo. Residents in those areas should be prepared to leave at a moment's notice.